Our need for food and fellowship are two of the main aspects of being human. But how each culture expresses that in their food and gatherings is as different as night and day. Today we're celebrating the confluence of cultures on life in Japan. Okay. I'm gonna give you 14. We got some cake. It's Chia Pri's birthday. We're gonna go celebrate. My birthday's coming up. Your birthday's coming up too. I know, exciting. Gatherings and food are as old as humanity itself. And if I were to ask you to name one food found around the world used for celebrations, what would your answer be? Mine is none other than pizza. So today's celebration is with pizza. Now wait just a second. I know you're saying, this is life in Japan. What does pizza have to do about life in Japan? That's not Japanese at all. But I dare say that pizza can be found anywhere in the world. It's the most international food and every country has a different take on pizza. And any discussion about international food would have to include dessert, cake. Ruth is amazing in this department, always whipping up something wonderful for our celebrations. Happy birthday! In the time that Ruth and I have been married, we've lived several years along three different rivers, the Mississippi in America, the Amazon in Brazil, and the Tama in Japan. While these countries are polar opposites culturally, when you get away from the busy city and close to the river, it doesn't feel so far apart. In each place, what people eat is closely tied to the natural produce of the land. Here, Ruth has made her own garden for cultivating food which for us is a mixture of American, Brazilian, and Japanese cuisine. This is my edamame beans, and I've got beans growing on it. Lots of beans, actually, but some are smaller. My green onions that I need to replant. My cucumbers, I've got some big ones growing. My lettuce, more green onions, more lettuce that's almost done. My parsley, my cutie, I mean, not, not my pima, my Green peppers, those are really getting big. I need to put those in a bigger pot. All my tomatoes. There's so many tomatoes on this plant. It's gonna be time to have spaghetti and pizza and... Salsa. Salsa, ooh! So is this your therapy here? Yeah. <laughs> Getting to play some Nintendo, huh? Yeah. You bet, watch this. Yeah, it's really not that good at it. goes and so high. Is that amazing? Wow, that is amazing, dude. Having some curry rice in then. Jujuku, oh my goodness. That's a lot of stuff all at once coming back. Right, what's it mean? So we're going to use a milk um, box thingy and make a toy. Nice. Well, I'm waiting for a good friend of mine. He's coming to pick me up. I'm gonna go have lunch at his house. It's gonna be good to meet up with him again. I haven't seen him since before the quarantine. So this is exciting. I'm in there. Kyo wa Satoru san no uchi ni kimas. Now, ohiro gohan tabemasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Welcome to my house. Ah, very good. All right. <laughs> この砂糖さん素晴らしい景色がありますね。珍しい。珍しい。あのオリーブオイルで食べます。え。おお。これがいいかな。こっちがいいかな。It's a rare kind of sushi that you eat with olive oil. I can't wait to try it. Oh, nothing is perhaps more Japanese than sushi, and Satoru-san is treating me to a special treat of his own creation at his house today. One thing I've noticed about a lot of Japanese men is they can cook so well. Whoa! Maguro no steak desu. Europa, Europa, no Satoru Cafe. Arrhodo, eh? Shioto, Olive. 
面白いです。うん。いいでしょ。うん。美味しいでしょ。うん。<笑>もう初め,初めて寿司とオリーブオイル。はい。ね。はいはい。Wow, <laughs> so such a good lunch. Now I'm gonna head off to my niece. It's her birthday party. Little Emmy's turning two, so we're gonna go celebrate. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! How old are you, Abby? Yeah. Two. Two. Hey, guess what I heard? You didn't cry at all today at g o c h i a n That's awesome! When we get together, you'll find food from all over the world. We like it all. Good food and fellowship help make a person whole. If more people in the world developed healthy families and fellowship, there would be far less problems in society. Thank goodness we can start meeting together again. Oh my, you are a good student, Nana. Did you bring your homework to a birthday party, huh? <laughs> wow, all right. I do not get any points. No、uh, points. Not yet. You gotta work for them. Okay, go, Josh, again. George. George. <laughs> Finally. Finally, you got a match. My turn. <laughs> oh, Sarah got second match, huh? Studying for your kanji test? Oh, you're almost there. Then you can go to bed. Yay. So tired. So tired. The kanji test. Two of them on the second day of school. Whoa. Bump, bump, bump. It's been months since these tennis courts have been filled. And it's been months since this parking lot has been filled here. It's super cool to see it start happening again. And I think it's been months since it's been mowed as well. <laughs> oh, girls, you're being very studious. What did that mean? A studious means you've been a good student in studying, getting your homework done, being diligent. Where's the engine? Diligent means that you're being. Consistent. Why is consistent? You keep trying. You keep pushing forward. I have a lot of questions, but it's consistent. <laughs> so, what's the idea here? What, okay, what so are we doing? you're going to push against the door handle for 30 seconds as hard as you can with your arms like this. Is it sunny? And then、yeah. you step out and relax, <laughs> and your arm just go slow up. Hey! Two, one, lock away. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird! It's so weird! <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, they do it first. Yeah, they, they, they do it. Try to break the door. That's what you do. You push it hard. hard. Yeah, like you're trying to push the panels apart for a minute. Then, when you walk out, you step out and you just let your arms relax and you wait a moment because you have to wait a couple seconds and then the arms start going. Three, two, one. Relax. It's Ben's birthday. Daichi, can you tell me what are we eating here tonight? What are we eating here tonight? Here's how you get everyone's attention to order. 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's like an instant brain freeze. <laughs> yeah. There Yaki yeah. is here. Ah. Woo! Woo! Did you get it? Did you, did you put it on the grill? You pray over it and say, it's a dark mass and go for it. Yay! It might seem like we have birthday parties all the time, but the truth is June is just full of them. Ben decided to celebrate with some yakiniku, Japan's version of barbecue. Here we go. And lots and lots of sauces. We got hot sauces and soy sauces. Oh, and like wow. Sweet sauces. Many to choose from. So you have your, your plates here. You can put your sauces and your things in there. And the meat comes off. You dip it in there. And that's right. <laughs> yes! Ramen sushi yakiniku. <laughs> Beef tongue. Beef tongue? Oh. Is it just like when you bite into your, into your tongue yeah. and you're like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> what, what do you oh. have there? Nice. Man, man. Old ramen. Old ramen. Ice cube ice. What is that? Finally, you can't talk about food in Japan without talking about obentos, a takeout or homemade lunch that's typically made with rice. What are you making? I'm making some little bread rolls. This one's pepperoni and cheese, and that's ham and cheese. Today, Ruth is taking the bento idea and applying it to homemade sandwich rolls for our beach outing. It's easy picnic food. Our bentos are going with us to Yokosuka, a city at the inlet of Tokyo Bay. We're going to a park that has a beach where the kids can play and swim and we can enjoy the views. Here's the park, Kanonzaki. It's a big area. Bentos are the perfect companion when exploring Japan's beautiful cities, oceans, and mountains, all of which are in close proximity. Good food and companionship is a blessing. Oh my goodness. We're exploring the little bit of beach you can get in here. What did you find, Sarah? A starfish. A starfish? Oh my goodness. My first time ever. Did I leave out your favorite food to eat in Japan? If so, comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.